Hi all, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the 661 Reset helmet. It's the full face helmet. It's This one is the Midnight Copper. It's the non-MIPS version that retails for about €120. Euros. There's two other versions available. It's the Geo Blanche and the Deep Forest Green. They're about €150 Euros each. This one here, it's the large size, comes in at about 915 grams. Um, light enough, not the lightest, but for a strong, durable, full face helmet, it's pretty decent. I've had ones that were much heavier than this. Probably a lot chunkier as well, there's a nice slim design on it. So, uh, I suppose when it comes to full face helmets, one of the most important things is probably the ventilation in it. Um, with this one here, a fair bit of ventilation, you've got three either sides right in between the logo there there's four on the front and then up on the rear you have six in around here um wore this helmet a few big days out on the bike uh a lot of climbing wore the helmet the whole time have to say didn't have any major problems with overheating Um, all went well one of the other things you're looking at I suppose with this full face helmet is the adjustable visor. Uh, you have about 20 mil of adjustment on a screw here. Great for if you're like me, you like to attach your GoPro in on the visor on the underneath part. With a set like this on its highest, fits in the camera, you get it nice in here, keeps out of the way of your goggles. So all in all, it does make for a nice solid full face helmet compared to I've used some convertible helmets before um, probably the one I've used for the longest time a grey helmet but over time it developed a fair bit of flexing around the jaw especially in here where the connections were this one rock solid you know you take a crash on that I'm not worrying at all as I says it's a size, size large perfect fit for me nice and snug on the downhills no major bouncing around when things get roughed uh, the adjustable visor works great, you know, I can adjust it down if I need to, usually when I'm not using the GoPro, I'll put it right down, when I have the GoPro on, push it right back, keeps that Garmin, GoPro, whatever, up right out of the way. Um, as far as goggle fitting, to be honest, I haven't found any goggles that don't fit it comfortably, nothing, no major issues there, though I think pretty much most of them are universal now. Only downside I can find for this helmet really um, is this here, the chin strap. So nice and secure, simple mechanism. The only issue is if you're using full finger gloves, this can be a little bit of a pain. You know, you're going to be messing around with, you haven't got the same feeling. Could be just me, but uh, you know, as I say, that's the only, only con I can find in it. Um, good, so sturdy, 661, they're a good sturdy brand, I've uh, been using them back since my skating days, you know. Um, I use their body armour, I use their knee pads, I'll be doing reviews on them as well. Uh, even my kid and even, even some of the family members, uh, they've also gotten the 661 stuff purely on recommendation. So yeah, um, that's the 661 reset. Might look at upgrading to the MIPS version, uh, we'll see what happens soon enough once the season opens up again. Um, I don't know, I think that uh, Deep Forest Green is going to match my bike a little bit better, but other than that, I'm very happy with the helmet. I'm having any complaints, a few months old now, still basically brand new, as you can see, still shining away.